the executive cabinet. The departments seen here make up the executive cabinet. These are the Department of State, Treasury, Defense, Justice, Interior, Agriculture, Commerce, Labor, Health and Human Services, Housing and Urban Development, Transportation, Energy, Education, Veterans Affairs, and Homeland Security. In this video, we will go through each of these departments and their functions in the Cabinet. The First Departments The State Department was one of the... Uh, what? The State Department was one of the first three full-fledged department heads created in 1789 under President George Washington. The purpose of this department is to advise the President on foreign policy, protect citizens in other countries, and issue passports and visas. A passport certifies, for the purpose of international travel, the identity and nationality of its holder, while a visa allows its holder to enter or leave the country. Both of these documents are extremely important for any travel to foreign countries. This department is also responsible for all American embassies in foreign countries. Embassies also serve a very important purpose in aiding American citizens travel to other countries. Another one of the first three department heads created under President George Washington in 1789 was the Department of Treasury. This department produces coins and bills, collects taxes, and manages the government funds. It is very important for the nation to collect taxes in order to keep the government funded and running. A country cannot continue to exist without available government funds, which are mainly compiled through the collection of taxes. Some important agencies included in the Treasury Department include the Internal Revenue Service, better known as the IRS, the United States Mint, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, and the Bureau of the Public Debt. The IRS is responsible for collecting taxes. The Bureau of the Public Debt is responsible for borrowing the money required to run the federal government and the United States Mint and Bureau of Engraving and Printing are both responsible for the printing of coins and bills. The Department of Defense was the final of the three departments created under President George Washington. It began as the Department of War in 1789, but lost its position in 1947 after becoming fragmented under General George Marshall after World War II. It now became the Department of, Def of Defense under President Harry Truman and included the the Department of the Army, and the Department of the Air Force. The Department of Defense holds many important roles and responsibilities. It is in charge of all armed forces and controls military bases. The branches of the military include the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, and Air Force. The Department is also responsible for advising the, the President on military matters through the Joint Chiefs of Staff Agency. Other Departments the Department of Justice was created in 1870. Its roles include prosecuting those accused of violating federal law, advising the president with legal advice, and enforcing federal law. Before the formation of the Department of Justice, the Attorney General had represented the government in legal matters and given legal advice to the executive branch under the authority of the Judiciary Act of 1789. Although the Department of Justice was created, the title Attorney General remained and is still used instead of the Secretary of Justice. The Department of Justice includes the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The FBI is the police department of the federal government. Another agency is the Drug Enforcement Administration, which, worked with, which works with the state and local governments to investigate drug dealings and drug smuggling. The Bureau of Prisons and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives are also agencies included in this department. The Department of Interior was created in 1849. It manages public lands, wild refuges, and national parks. The main purpose for the creation of this department was for the managing of Native American affairs. Although no major issues were occurring with the Native Americans at this point, it was obvious that this department was necessary. Some of the important agencies of the Department of the Interior include the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Bureau of Land Management, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and the U.S. Geological Survey. The scientists of the U.S. Geological Survey study the landscape of the United States, its natural resources, and the natural hazards that threaten it. This is very important for monitoring the security of the United States by knowing what natural resources are available for use and what natural hazards may be building up. This branch of the Department of the Interior also keeps track of the effects of people on the environment. 
The Department of Agriculture has a very interesting story of origin. It was created by Abraham Lincoln in order to help out the United States economy on May 15, 1862. In 1887, the Hatch Act provided for the federal funding of agriculture, agricultural experiment stations in each state. Later on, during the Great Depression, farming remained a common way of life for millions of Americans. The Department of Agriculture was crucial to providing farmers with the assistance that they needed to make it through this difficult period. The Department of Agriculture has a number of jobs that are important for our economy. It manages all national forests, which helps all preservation efforts. It assists farmers and ranchers in their times of need, as was witnessed in the Great Depression, and it administers food stamps to people who need help providing for their families. This department also contains the Food and Nutrition Service, Food Safety and Inspection Service, and the Rural Development Service. The United States Department of Commerce is the cabinet department of the United States government concerned with promoting economic growth. It was originally created as the United States Department of Commerce and Labor on February 14, 1903. It was later renamed the Department of Commerce and its bureaus and agencies specializing in labor were transferred to the new Department of Labor. The Department of Commerce con conducts the census, grants patents and registers trademarks, and promotes international trade, economic growth, and technological development. It contains the Bureau of the Census, Patent and Trademark Office, International Trade Administration, Economic Development Administration, and National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The department was created by President Theodore Roosevelt, who sought to promote economic growth. The Bureau of the Census is strategically placed in this department because it measures certain aspects of the population, such as poverty rates, which aids the federal, federal government in caring for its people's needs, and if more or less trade must occur for these needs to be met. The Department of Labor entered into existence under the permission of President Howard Taft. Among its many significant roles are enforcing federal laws on minimum wages, maximum hours, and safe working conditions, operating job training programs, and administering unemployment insurance and workers' compensation programs. The creation of this department is significant because it came at a time in U.S. history where the labor force began to seek more rights, equality, and support from the government. Groups like the People's Party supported the creation of this specific de department. Congress created the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare in 1953. The department's education functions were transferred to a new Department of Education in 1979, and the department was renamed the Department of Health and Human Services. The department funds healthcare research programs conducts programs to prevent and control disease, enforces pure food and drug laws, and administers Medicare and Medicaid. Medicare is a social insurance program which provides health insurance coverage to people who are 65 and older. Medicaid, on the other hand, is a program providing health care for families with low income and resources. At this point, the United States had already started becoming much more aware of the health of its citizens and how to improve it. Decades before, terrible living conditions led to disease and sickness, and scientists and doctors were finally realizing there was a way to avoid all the illness. This department was an extension of the new research and realization. It includes the Administration for Children and Families, Food and Drug Administration, National Institutes of Health, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. More Cabinets This department was established on 7, September 9, 1965, when President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Department of Housing and Urban Development Act into law. This department was a part of President Johnson's Great Society Plan on the Improvement of Housing and Welfare, and is also known as the War on Poverty. The department operates home financing and public housing programs and enforces fair housing laws. It also contains the Office of Housing, Office of Fair Housing and Equal Opportunity, and Government National Mortgage Association. The Office of Fair Housing and Equal Opportunity establishes policies that make sure all Americans have equal access to the housing of their choice 
and are not discriminated against based on race or gender. The Government National Mortgage Association lowers financing costs and creates opportunities for sustainable, affordable housing for families seeking home ownership. The Department of Transportation was created in 1967. In 1965, Nahib Halabi, Administrator of the Federal Aviation Administration, suggested, suggested to President Lyndon B. Johnson that transportation be elevated to a cabinet-level post. Transportation had become such an important requirement in the United States in the mid-20th century. With the popularization of Ford's automobiles in the early 20s and 30s came the drastic growth of new sources of transportation. This department also became a necessity in order to promote and regulate highways, mass transit, railroads, waterways, air travel, and oil and gas pipelines. Some important agencies included in the Department of Transportation include the Federal Highway Administration, the Federal Aviation Administration, the Maritime Administration, and the Federal Railroad Administration. The Federal Highway Administration oversees federal funds for construction, constructing and maintaining the national highway system. The Federal Aviation Administration regulates and oversees all aspects of civil aviation in the U.S. Finally, the Federal Railroad Administration enforces rail safety regulations, administers railroad assistance programs, conducts research and development in support of improved railroad safety, and consolidates government support of rail transportation activities. The Department of Energy was formed after the oil crisis on August 8, 1977, by President Jimmy Carter's signing of legislation, the Department of Energy Organization Act of 1977. In 1942, during World War II, the United States started the Manhattan Project, a project to develop the atomic bomb under the eye of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. After the war, the Atomic Energy Commission, a part of this department, was created to control the future of the project. This department holds much responsibility and power because of these atomic weapons. The Department of Energy is charged with very important roles. It is to promote production of renewable energy, fossil fuels, and nuclear energy, transmit and sell hydroelectric power, and conduct nuclear weapons research. Agencies include the Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy, the Office of Nuclear Energy Science and Technology, the Regional Power Administration, and the Office of Civilian Radioactive Waste Management. Even more cabinets. The Department of Education is responsible for administering federal aid to schools and conducting education research. Agencies include the Offices of Elementary and Secondary Education and Post-Secondary Education. The department was created in 1979 as education started to become more and more important in the daily lives of Americans. Throughout American history, after every major war fought, the veterans of that war rightfully sought benefits. Starting with the Revolutionary War and ending with the Cold War, the Administration of Veterans, veterans Affairs grew until finally gaining cabinet status in 1988 under President George Bush. The department administers benefits, pensions, and medical programs for veterans of the armed forces and overseas military cemeteries. Its agencies include the Veterans Benefits Administration, Veterans Health Administration, and National Cemetery Administration. Do you remember this event? The Department of Homeland Security was created in 2002 under President George W. Bush in response to the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks on the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. It deals with border and transportation security, emergency preparedness, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear defense, and information analysis and infra infrastructure protection. It is also partially in response to the drastic increase in immigrants crossing the borders of the United States illegally. Some agencies include the Coast Guard, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, Transportation Security Administration, and the Secret Service. The Coast Guard has roles in maritime homeland security, maritime law enforcement, search and rescue, marine environmental protection, and the maintenance of river, intracoastal, and offshore aids to navigation. 
The Transportation Security Administration is responsible for the safety and security of the traveling public in the United States, while the Secret Service is responsible for the safety of the President in certain Treasury actions, such as the transportation of large sums of money. All of these departments make up the Executive Cabinet. The Executive Cabinet The departments seen here make up the Executive Cabinet. These are the Department of State, Treasury, Defense, Justice, Interior, Agriculture, Commerce, Labor, Health and Human Services, Housing and Urban Development, Transportation, Energy, Education, Veterans Affairs, and Homeland Security. In this video, we will go through each of these departments and their functions in the Cabinet. The first departments. The State Department was one of the uh, what? The State Department was one of the first three full-fledged department heads created in 1789 under President George Washington. The purpose of this department is to advise the president on foreign policy, protect citizens in other countries, and issue passports and visas. A passport certifies, for the purpose of international travel, the identity and nationality of its holder while a visa allows its holder to enter or leave the country. Both of these documents are extremely important for any travel to foreign countries. This department is also responsible for all American embassies in foreign countries. Embassies also serve a very important purpose in aiding American citizens travel to other countries. Another one of the first three department heads created under President George Washington in 1789 was the Department of Treasury. This department produces